Virgin Galactic is one step closer to taking people into outer space. The company has just unveiled its second next-generation spaceship 3, the VSS Imagine. The VSS Imagine joins the company's earlier spaceship, the VSS Unity, and is designed as a suborbital space plane that will take people, cargo, astronauts, and experiments to and from suborbital space. The VSS Imagine is unlike any other spacecraft and is one of the best examples of efficient design and production with upgrades to enable improved performance in spaceflight, maintenance, and flight rates. Let's take a look at the marvel that is the VSS Imagine. Before we start though, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe to Tech Division, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Now, let's get into it. The VSS Imagine will have a dynamic exterior. The VSS Imagine is very different from the VSS Unity. It stands out with its sleek design and mirror-like exterior. The spaceship will be able to reflect its surrounding environment, meaning it will be constantly changing color and appearance based on its location. This unique exterior may be naturally appealing to the human eye, but it also serves as a more practical purpose. It will provide thermal protection, especially on re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. The VSS Imagine's design reflects the human race's fascination with spaceflight and exploration. According to Virgin Group founder Richard Branson, as a Spaceship 3 class of vehicle, Imagine is not just beautiful to look at, but represents Virgin Galactic's growing fleet of spaceships. All great achievements, creations, and changes start with an idea. Our hope is for all those who travel to space to return with fresh perspectives and new ideas that will bring positive change to our planet. VSS Imagine Design the Spaceship Class 3 Imagine will feature a modular design that will make testing and maintenance much easier. It will also serve as a foundation for the manufacturing of future vehicles. The VSS Imagine, like the earlier Unity, is a two-pilot, six-passenger space plane. It is designed to lift off from a carrier aircraft that will take it to an altitude of 50,000 feet. From there, the spacecraft's onboard rockets will light up, blasting it into suborbital space. The VSS Imagine will soon begin ground testing, even as a third spaceship, the VSS VSS Inspire is on the production line. These spaceships will make up the Virgin Galactic fleet. Passengers will be taken into suborbital space. You won't need any astronaut experience to take a flight aboard the VSS Unity or the VSS Imagine. Virgin is taking people with no flying experience whatsoever as long as they have $250,000 in their pockets. That's right, it's going to cost you big time for a seat into space. Moreover, Virgin Galactic passengers are not going to be circling the Earth like the International Space Station, although a trip to the ISS is not out of the question. Elon Musk's SpaceX is working on that particular mission. The company's Crew Dragon spacecraft is all set to be part of an Axiom AX-1 mission that will take lucky private citizens on an eight-day tour of the ISS in January of 2022. Passengers aboard the VSS Imagine, on the other hand, will just be taken to suborbital space where they'll get to experience weightlessness and also get to see the fascinating curvature of the Earth against the blackness of space. Virgin Galactic has confirmed more than 600 people have booked a ride to date. A huge milestone for Virgin Galactic the introduction of the VSS Imagine as a third-generation spacecraft is a huge milestone in Virgin Galactic's effort to achieve 500 space flights per year, taking humans into suborbital space. With the company planning an expansive fleet, soon regular Joes like you and me will soon get to experience outer space. Perfectly safe if you're wondering how safe it be, Virgin has already tested the VSS Unity, which is a Class II suborbital spaceship. The Unity was rolled out in February 2016, and an initial glide test was completed successfully in December of the same year. In 2018, Unity successfully completed a powered test flight and was observed going higher and faster than the earlier unsuccessful VSS Enterprise, reaching a height of 269,029 feet above the Earth and flying at three times the speed of sound. Ready for spaceflight in 2022 both the Unity and the VSS Imagine have been moved to Virgin Galactic's facility spaceport America in New Mexico, where the Unity is undergoing further modifications and is being showcased to the public. The Unity is on its final test campaign and will soon be launched on a suborbital test mission, making it the third flight the vessel will undertake. The VSS Imagine is also expected to follow the same test patterns as the Unity, with ground tests being carried out first, followed by glide flights in summer. Representatives of the company say that they are expecting both spaceships to be ready for spaceflight in early 2022. An iconic spacecraft that will set a precedent for more in future. 
If the USS Unity is considered a truly iconic spacecraft, then the VSS Imagine is the creme de la creme of the company's space fleet, and the VSS Inspire is expected to be just as stunning. In fact, the names of the spaceships are meant to reflect the aspirational nature of human spaceflight, says Galactic CEO Michael Cole Glazier. It seems Virgin Galactic is planning to build more spacecrafts in the future because the company's Spaceport America facility can fit five spaceships and two carrier aircraft simultaneously. This is only the beginning. Virgin isn't the only one going to space. Virgin Galactic is now inviting future astronauts to be part of the Virgin Galactic journey. The task of rolling the VSS Imagine out was given to astronaut Dee Chester, who proudly drove her Astronaut Edition Range Rover towing the spacecraft out of the hangar for the first time. Virgin Galactic and SpaceX aren't the only agencies toying with the idea of taking regular citizens into space, though. Jeff Bezos' spaceflight company Blue Origins is also in the process of developing the Shepard, which is a rocket capsule combo that has been successfully tested in uncrewed spaceflight missions several times already. So would you spend $250,000 to see space? Let us know in the comments below. And before you go, don't forget to click that like button if you enjoyed and subscribe to Tech Division. See you in the next one.